So I was practicing First Amendment law with an organization called Americans United for Separation of Church and State, uh, which is exactly gotcha. what it sounds like, right? It's a uh, religious religious uh, liberties organization. But it's interesting, right, because a lot of the time free speech and freedom of religion are tied together in the same case, right? So if, for example, you have a, a case where, let's say, uh, you know, like a city council member is offering a prayer, before meetings, well, there are First Amendment issues, um, both on the religious side, right, like he's talking about religion, and on the speech side, because he has speech rights. So it, it, it was really interesting. Um, so even though the organization is nominally um, about religious liberties, I, I saw it as, as, as both a grounding in um, speech and religious doctrine. So I did that. And then um, afterwards, I did a fellowship at uh, the Georgetown University Law School for a couple of years. And I already had some publications because I got started early in law school. I started publishing and writing. But what my time at Georgetown allowed me to do was really develop a research agenda. And, you know, for any listeners who may be interested in teaching down the road, it really is key. Um, almost more than anything else, it's key to have uh, some sort of agenda, some sort of thing that you're interested in researching and writing about um, for many, many years.